What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, gang? I miss y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. Um, let's start this thing right on off. I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in so long, y'all. Like, I just been everywhere after all them vacations. Um, I was just trying to get back into the flow of things back at home in Delaware, trying, you know, get on my barber stuff, trying to get that figured out. Um, but I'm back. And I'm better, and you know what I mean? Y'all seen a lot of vlogs lately, so today I'm gonna give y'all a story time. Um, I put on my Instagram, would y'all rather have a story time or, what did I say? A story time or, shoot, what did I say? I said, would y'all rather have a story time or something else? Oh, challenge, oh, a challenge. Would y'all rather have a story time or a challenge? And everybody basically picked story time. So we're gonna get right into the video. Let's go. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. All right, so this is where I'm gonna be doing most of my story times. It's like, you know, with this nice blue background. Most likely gonna be sitting in my chair. This is my chilling chair, you feel me? Um. Probably gonna have my little cup, you know, whatever's in there was in there. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get into it always right here. So whenever you see this screen right here, you know it's ready to be a story time. You know it's ready to be some juicy shit. You know we ready to get it popping. You know I'm ready to tell some tea. Or I'm gonna tell some tea about me or, you know, might about somebody else. You know, you never know. But um, today's story time, we're gonna talk about how um, I stole my mother's car and the next day, Somebody robbed us. Somebody robbed us. Somebody robbed us. And somebody robbed us. Like, it was wild. Like, it was mad wild. Let me just get right y'all into right it. So, I was like, shoot, I got my first card when I was 16. So, I had to be like 14, I think. Like, I was like 14, probably 15. And it was me. And I'm not going to say nobody's name in here because, like, that's just wild. Um, so I'm gonna call him B Dog, yeah, because like his name started with a B, so I'm gonna call him B Dog. Alright, so me and B Dog, like that was really my role, you know what I mean? We had went to like the same school or whatnot, like parents knew each other, you know what I mean? We went way back. So like he always like, you know what I mean, chilled at my crib, we played a game or whatnot. Um I got like a basketball court outside my house, so sometimes like they would go out there and stuff. My mom also has a daycare, so like we would be in there with the kids. We was like mad young, so like we always would talk about like, oh, let's take the car, like let's be out or whatever. And like me, like I had knew like you know what I mean, a couple of people or whatever. So this one girl um, that I had knew, right? She was like always with the shits, like she was like me, like always down, down for whatever or whatever, like. But she was, like, my age, but, like, she was, like, growner than us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was she was grown. You feel me? Like, she, she was grown, child. So, like, we, I texted her, like, oh, what's up with it? Like, you know what I mean? You gonna come out with us when we take our um, parents' car or whatever. So, the boy, he, like, he told me he was gonna take his mom's car one time. All right, so, like, he was home or whatever, and I was home, too. And he told me he was gonna take his mom's car. So, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it, too. So, I bluffed. I don't really know if he took it. To this day, I still don't know. But I definitely know I bluffed and I went to sleep. Like, I was KO'd. So then, like, the next night, he had stayed over. And we was like, um, we're going to take my mom's car. So my mom, she had, like, a Lexus. Like, did she have a Lexus? Yeah, my mom had a Lexus. And my mom loved her car. loved her car. But I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, plenty of teens take their parents' cars. So it's not really going to be about nothing. Like, it's going to come back in one piece. Plus, like, I had just started, like... My parents were trying to teach me how to drive because I knew I was going to get my car pretty soon. So I was like, I got to, you know, a few whip game. And then home, I'm going to call her homegirl. So homegirl, like, she does that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she be driving the cars and all that. So she already knew how to drive. So I was like, and when I pick her up, she could just whip because her people be letting her whip all the time. So I ain't really worried about none of that. So basically, I still was the car. Right, I still the car. I put the car in um, neutral out the driveway. It's like rolling because we got like a hill or whatever. So it's like rolling down. I turned it. The wheel was hard to turn, but I'm turning that bitch. And like, 
it rolls like back some and then as soon as you get to like the next neighbor house like kind of in like the yard i like started it up because like how my parents like their bedroom is right above the garage and like everything so they can see everything like when lights come on in the driveway they see it like they wake right up so it's like you ain't you ain't playing none of that so basically me and uh Doug, we was in the car driving you feel me we ready to go pick shorty up like we ready you know really be out here mobbing or whatever so we picks her up she's driving whatever so then like so i stay basically in like the county um so everything like if i want to do something fun or like where most of the people be at is like we call it in town or whatever so basically like that's the city so i was on my way out to the city you feel me like we in the car, we really might have been going fast. We just acting grown, going to the wild wild. We doing all that. Like, you couldn't tell us nothing. We posted on Instagram. Like, this time, you posted a little story. Um, well, we still got stories. But, like, you posting, like, actually on your page with the video. Like, not everybody was posting, like, on the story and stuff. So, we, like, posting it. We taking pictures outside the car. You know, you acting like we grown, like... We 13, we 13, 14, got our parents' car, like, really acting grown, like, really in the city, like, I think I ran a red light, all that, like, mom was pitting. I was like, my mom is going to be pissed if she found out I got this car. She's going to be on my ass. She's going to be skipping. Dropped her off home or whatever. We dropped the girl Kayla off home and then me back to my crib, you know, parked the car. Went to, you know, went to sleep with da da da. So... The next day went by, nothing happened. And then the next day when we woke up, so like if all that stuff happened on like a Friday, so Monday morning, my mom went outside and her car was not there. Like it was not. And I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know. So basically like everybody was walking around the house like, Where's my mom, where's my mom's car? Like, where's my mom's car? And like, mind you, I'm sleeping. I'm like, oh, I don't know what y'all talking about. Like, I don't know none of that. Like, I don't <laughs> keep me out the drama. I'm not with it. I'm really not. So I'm going downstairs. I'm we like trying to look for the car or whatever, I guess. Like, look for the keys, see if we can like, you know what I mean, beep it around. So I'm like, somebody probably stole that junk. So meanwhile. I'm going to call this girl Christiana. So this girl named Christiana or whatever, right? So she sends my mom these photos of me on Instagram, like with my friends and stuff. And we like posing. Remember I was telling y'all, we like, um, we outside, we in town, we in the city. So she sends my mom this picture, this screenshot. So mind you, like my dad is at work because the day still, like it's like a Monday or whatever. So my dad had to go to work. Um, my mom, she's like in the daycare and like, I forget where I was at because I want to say this was the summertime. So I don't, I don't really know where I was at. I think I was in my room though. So she's sending like all these pictures on my Instagram to my mom, all this stuff. My mom came upstairs. She woke me up. Like she took the cover off so fast. When I mean fast, like she took the covers off fast, like fast. And she was just screaming. She was like, my car is missing because of you. Some kids took my car, like saying all this stuff. So I'm like, mom, like, I mind you, I did not know the car, like, was stolen. Like, they was just, because in the morning time, they was like, where's her keys? Where's her keys? So I'm just thinking, like, the keys is going, not the whole entire car. You feel me? So, This is regular juicy right here. So I just had to take that sip. This is regular juicy right here. So I'm like, I don't know where none of that's at. Like, I don't know where no keys at. I don't know where no car at. Like, yeah, that was me. So now I'm like, I gotta kind of tell the truth because it's like my parents got it. I can't like lie. You feel me? So what happens? So my mom calls my dad, and when my mom called my dad, like when my dad get a phone call, oh, like. Oh, that's a wrap. Like, whatever you're doing, like, stop that. Because, like, you didn't call my father. Like, that's that's serious. You feel me? So, she called my father or whatever. My father come. He like, oh, I'm going to talk to you when you get home. Pissed. When I tell you he's pissed, I'm like, why? I know what that means. So, my dad, this time, I was still getting beatings and shit. So, like, 
I used to give beatings forever, but that's like that's a whole nother story time. Cause like I really got like all the beatings like out of my household. Like I got the most beatings. I got beatings for everything. I got beatings for forging signatures. I got beatings for doing dumb shit. Like my brother was getting in trouble. I would get in trouble. Like I just got so many beatings. So I already knew that night when he came home. Like she was over here. So I already knew that night when he came home, like I already knew I was ready to be in. Like I already knew what it was hitting for. I knew it was ready to go on. I knew he was ready to be pissed. So he calls, right? Like, I mean he pulls up. He pulls and up. And when he pulled up, B Dog mom pulled up too. Because I guess like my mom had called his mom. So like they pull up too. We all in like basically the basement or whatever. Like that's where the business conducts or whatever. So we in the basement and like parents is going off. Like that's all I can say is like our parents was going off for like saying all this stuff, like calling us like followers and stuff. Like they was really going off. Like I remember all I remember was like I had somehow, some way I was like on the ground, like and I just remember my dad, like, he was pissed. Like, he was pissed. Like, he was pissed. I got beat in front of B Dog. Like, my dad, he whooped my shit. Like, belt and all that. Like, some of them shits felt like his fist. Like, I was pissed. Like, mind you, I'm on the ground getting beat, like, in front of my friends. Like, I was pissed. It's my mom. It's. B dog mom, it's B dog. I think it's my little brother down there, his sister. Like I'm pissed. I'm getting beat. Like it's just me. Like it's just me. I was, <laughs> I was dog. I was really pissed. Like I was pissed. So then, like later that night, right? No, after I got finished getting beat, my mom like we talking or whatever. Da, da, da. So she like I want to meet up with the girl who was driving my car because in one of the photos it was like the girl driving the car too because she was said she wanted a job and I told her like she was experienced so like I knew we was in good hands with her like you feel me? Mom, <laughs> she, my mom and my dad had left or whatever they went to go get some wawa and the girl that Christiana had came over. She was older than us or whatever. She had came over to watch me and my little brother when my mom and dad had went to go, like, basically for a drive to go talk. That's what they say. Um, they ended up at Wawa or whatever. So the homegirl, I guess they were always at Wawa at the same time. So I guess my mom got out the car. She noticed homegirl to fight her. Like, mind you, the girl is 13, 14. My mom's like, what? 30 something at the time. My mom was like 30 something at the time. Yeah, my mom like 30 something at the time. My mom gets out to fight this little girl. Like, my, then my dad calls us and then my sisters bring us over there. And like, we try to figure out what's going on. Then like the people she was in a car with, like reversed the car, ran over my dad's foot. Like, I think some bones got broken cause he was like hopping. We had to go to the hospital, child. Like, it was just so much. Like, it was a lot going on. My mom is trying like, like pull this little girl back. She's trying to yank her and yank her. The girl is trying to yank back. She's like, you're a grown ass woman. She's like, you're a little ass girl. Like, they was really going off at each other. And I was just sitting there. I think the girl, hunger called my mom a bitch and all that like, and I'm saying some words, but I'm not really saying a lot because I'm just like, like, I'm like, my mother, that's my mother fighting this little ass girl. Like, I just, I was so like befuddled. I just didn't really know what to say. Like, it was really crazy to me. Like, so we like get in the car, like we all get in the car. My mom is cussing me out more, like, more in the car, like, more. I'm like, I don't know, like, they be like, you knew they was going to be there. I'm like, nah, I don't got nothing affiliated with none of that. Like, I don't know nothing about that. Like, I know homegirl, yeah, we cool, you know what I mean? That's my baby or whatever. But, like, we never was like, you know what I mean, tight, 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 tight. Like, where we texted 24-7 and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we hung out once in a while, stuff like that. Parents was pissed. So... When we got home that night, like, when we got home that night, I think we just had mad talks. And then me, I was having a child where when I got in the bed, oh, I went to sleep instantly. Like, especially when I was in trouble, oh, I didn't even have to be asleep. I knew my parents, I like, I could hear them or whatever. 
I would close my eyes. Like, close my eyes, they would come in my room. I would fake snore like facts. <laughs> like, I would fake snore so they wouldn't have to talk to me or it wouldn't do nothing. But if it was serious, like, which that situation was, like, they definitely woke me up. Like, sat inside of my bed, woke me up. I used to be pissed. Like, fresh out of bed, pissed. Like, so pissed. But... I think like the next day, my so my uncle like he had worked um at like the juvenile detention center. That's where he worked. I forgot what it was called. Um, he had worked there, and he seen my mom. He seen one of the kids pulling up to the detention center with my mom's car, with my mother car. So then my uncle, mind you, my uncle, like he got his he got his um. His hands register anything, so like they weapons and all that. So you're not playing with my uncle facts, like. And my uncle kind of tall, so like, well, everybody tall to me because I'm only five two. <laughs> so my uncle kind of tall, and like the kid was like young, like he like I was thirteen, fourteen. And the kid probably was younger than me, facts, like on everything. So he was already doing like time, but I guess like he had to go like on the weekends or whatever i don't know how, how that worked because you know i'm just not into that or whatever but like he had to go in like on the weekends my uncle seen him pulling up so my uncle out the car like approached him like yo like you're not even old enough to drive so how is you driving that or whatever and like basically front that it was a stolen you feel me so after that I, my parents find that out, they came home, told me, I was like, told y'all, like, that don't got nothing to do with me, like, the stealing my car stuff, that all got to do with me, like, I was pissed, because I got beat for everything, it was ridiculous, like, it was so crazy, but, like, I had fun, like, I had a mad fun childhood, like, I really did a lot, I did a lot of wild stuff, especially with my friends, like, we used to, mm, that's the only car thing. That was, that was, that was lit. Like, we really was lit that night. And, you know, we was big off the child. So, you know, we was lit. Like, we was really, we was, we was lit. But, y'all, that's all I got for today. When I stole my mother's car and somebody stole her car. Oh, my goodness. If y'all like these story times and want to hear some more juicy stuff, this was just the first one of very many. Um, give me feedback comments make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe make sure you follow all my social medias um make sure you tell me if you want some more story times if y'all want challenges what challenges like um somebody else told me um because i really like well if everybody know that i'm in college um i really they really want me to do something for the freshmen that's coming in like a video like that um like a couple of things that you would need for like college and stuff everybody know i love my freshmen msu i don't even know what number y'all are but i'm msu 19 so what's good um make sure y'all like comment subscribe um peace out gang uh. <laughs>